Mark, yesterday uh, your folks uh, during the uh, JET press conference were talking about a number of the initiatives that you're undertaking for 2009 and a world that's been taking over or is being taken over by electronic charting. Well, it's exciting for us. Uh, if you look, uh, this year we're going to print 1.1 billion charts, uh, down from a peak of 2.5 two billion charts. Uh, so that's a lot of paper, and uh, if you look at the amount of time and effort and energy that our customers spend in updating these paper charts, moving electronic is a natural way for us to get information to them quicker and more accurately and, and, uh, and take away all that labor, but then providing this electronic access to, uh, to information as, as they need it. We're excited about that, from the electronic flight bag to our content being integrated into a number of the different avionics systems. What, what is the future for all this? Well, if you visit us at Jeppesen, you'll see that we have a tremendous amount of infrastructure surrounding building an image and delivering an image to our customers. Where we're really going is uh, to a data-driven world that uh, will deliver to you a database. And from that database, the information will be rendered, the graphic will be rendered um, on the fly in the airplane. Um, when that happens, we can move to a seamless chart. So instead of having the airport diagram, a departure chart, an interview chart, an arrival chart, approach chart, and then another uh, diagram, it'll be, the airplane knows where it is based on the GPS signal. And so we'll change that chart at different phases of flight so it uh, can become completely seamless. Certainly we'll give the, uh, the pilot the ability to plan ahead and look ahead of what's coming, but all that will get rendered out of a database um, as, it's, as it's being shown. And of course, once it's in a database, we can update it in more real time. And I think that's uh, really an important capability that adds better, more situation awareness. Um, and it allows us eventually to get, we hope to get rid of uh, notices of airmen. Where do EFBs need to mature? What standards need to be set for them to truly reach your vision of something that is workable for the entire community? Well, again, it comes back to the state of driven world and, um, and, and then the recognition that electronic flight bags are really supplemental devices. Uh, they create situation awareness. Um, they're not for primary navigation. There's plenty of avionics and capabilities there. And so part of this is helping the regulators appreciate how it's going to be used. And a big part of that is designing these systems and the applications around ease of use. The, the human machine interface has to be understandable, intuitive, easy to use is crucial to the really the acceptance and, and by the regulators and by the pilots who um, are going to use these tools to help fly safer. What's on the horizon for JEP right now? What technologies excite you? Where do you think you're going to be distinguishing yourself in 2010 and beyond? Well again it's around, around data driven and real-time delivery. Uh, uh, we're focused on on delivering that digital data, um, aggregating information that um, traditionally may not have been produced by Jeppesen, but, but as we integrate these applications together, both on the ground and in, in the air, um, it's providing uh, all the information from in, in one database or a subset of databases that can be used. Real time is, I think, uh, an important challenge for the industry. How do we get that information, that last mile, that last kilometer between the ground and the airplane, is coming, those pipes are there, but the bandwidth is important, and so, and then embedding this technology in a way that's intuitive, it has to be graphical, it has to be in color, it has to be present information when, it, when the pilot needs it and take it away when they don't need it, uh, and it has to reduce pilot workload, and so we're very focused in those, in those areas in, in building applications and supplying the content that, that supports those applications uh, in the cockpit. Thank you much. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.